I brought the old chair into the scene with the sofa for the interrogation room and now I'm going to be texturing the chair and I think I'm going to do this in Substance Painter but very simply all right and here's what we're going to do uh, I'm going to go into the UV editor and I'm going to focus on the pieces of wood and I'm going to unwrap these hopefully pretty simply let's go into edit mode and I've marked some seams here just around the edges on that one and on that one and I've chosen the middle one all right the middle one going all the way around okay so I'm going to select both of those and I press U unwrap then I'm going to get this okay now these pieces here are the top and the bottom for that you can see there's the top and this piece here is the bottom all right and I want them in the same orientation and that's fine this is the top piece here there's the back of it and there's the front so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to rotate 90 for this and I'm going to move it out of the way I'm going to take that and control L I'm going to rotate 90 for that one as well just put that up there that's the front part so I want those and this thing here I go control L um, I think that's going to be okay uh, this is the binding and it's not going to be very visible at all so I'm going to scale that down a little bit and put that in there and I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring that back in here now the only thing I want is I want to grab these and remove them over here I'm going to take this one here I'm going to move it up a little bit and I want this one and I'm just going to bring that in here all right and if I can make stuff a little bit bigger I will as, as big as I can like that not worried about the binding part I'll grab these I'm going to scale them that's probably fine for what we're going to be doing um, so I've got that and I was thinking about doing them separately so I think maybe I will this is the wood part of the chair all right so let's change this let's get rid of that and call this um, let's say chair wood and I'll make that chair wood as well okay so I've got those two things let's export those and bring them into substance painter okay there they are and they've come in with their texture set their material bake the mesh maps I'll do it at 2k I'm going to delete the default layer and you can use whatever wood you might have as a material or a smart material uh, just drag it in and, and give it a try and see how well it works that one's not bad if I was to come over and try try planar it may work out better it may not uh, I could uh, we could try rotating this That one would look like that and that one would follow it so I may go with that uh, I'm gonna hide that for now I was also thinking of a wood that I've got here um, which wood is that here's a wood that I had for Wolfenstein another wood that I had and you can see that the grain runs the other way and I don't really feel like going through all of these and changing them um, what I could do is I come back to the UVs and I could rotate these 90 and uh, 
then uh, then that would work. So I just want to decide if if maybe I'm, 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 I would be happy with this wood here. Um, and really, I'm not going to do too much with this. Uh, all I'm going to do is add a, a fill layer black mask, and let's try maybe say fill. And over here on the grayscale, uh, search for um, grunge grunge dirt. And maybe we could maybe we try one of these, and just put some put some dirt into it like this. Maybe we'll do um, do another one. Make this one dark. I could probably get rid of some of these, but and maybe we'll let's do the same thing. And maybe um, let's change the color. Uh, the roughness is there. Might drop this a little bit. A little bit of an indentation. How's it going on the top? I just want an old, dirty chair sitting in there. Let's try um, a uh, another one. Let's try a lighter color and see how it goes. But let's try on this one a smart mask and see how it looks if I bring in something that didn't do anything. Okay, let's try this one here. I'm getting this, which I may or may not like. Let's lighten this up. I'm going to uh, I'm going to clear the mask and try something else. Well, let's try dirt dusty. You know, just experiment for a while and see see if you like the effect. Okay, it's just an old wooden thing here. Yeah, all right. So let's say we were doing something like that. All right, so I'm going to use that. I'm going to save that, and then I'm going to export the textures back into Blender just using um, like a PBR metallic roughness, and I'll just export those. Okay, so over here, we have chair wood selected. Select the principal PSDF. Shift Control T and come into textures. There they are. Principal texture setup. And that's my wood right there. Okay, good. That's fine. Now, these pieces I decided I would uh, separate them out uh, and uh, UV unwrap them. I put a seam right down the middle on the underside of that one. I could just mirror that over, but I don't really care that much. And that one, and right down the middle of this one, which goes all the way around. I haven't even really worried about the ends. I'm not gonna be zooming in on this. So I've done that, and I've done the same for underneath here, as separate pieces. There's a seam there. And this one, there was a scene there, so it's really simply for that. And these ones, I don't even think I did a scene. Okay, and unwrap. And I get to, I get this, and that's going to be just fine um, for what I need to do. The only thing I think I might want to do is my bolts here. They come in just like this, and that's okay with me. I'm just going to select them and Control L. I just want to make them a little bit bigger. I've got all this space, so. I'm going to do that. And um, 
I, I may just move them away from each other a little bit. And uh, let's see. Um, we could try to pack it and see if that changes and just puts them in there. Now, I have UV Pack Master 3, and it may pack them a little bit nicer, and it may not. I don't know. It wouldn't really have mattered that much. So let's just go with that. The only thing I'm going to do first, though, is uh, create um, a new material. I'm going to call this Chair Metal. Select everything, and then select that last and Control L materials and then I'll think about the, the feet at the bottom now yeah, you know what maybe I'll do it right now um, chair feet maybe I'm sorry let's deselect let's uh, let's export that all right there it is bake the mesh maps at I will use 2k okay and for this one, chair metal, let's go with materials, let's search for metal, and I'm going to use uh, this, uh, this one I want, steel painted is it, this dark one here, and on top of that I'm going to bring this fine rust in, put a black mask on, and um, Maybe we'll do it with a generator dirt and just do that so we'll get a little bit of rust on there here and there. And that'll look good, I think, in the shadows. And for the chair feet, uh, I'll use a smart material rubber and this plastic rubber. That's it, all done. All done. Okay, good. So we've got chair metal, shift control T, chair metal, and we've got chair feet, we'll come back to layout and alt H, I don't know what that is, okay. There's the the chair anyhow. Let's turn some lights on. That's what the chair ends up looking like. And if I bring back stuff, even with a bit of a floor, let's hide that for the moment. Uh, this is what we have. And of course, it's going to be very dependent on on the light, how these textures are going to look. It, I, I'm assuming that it's going to be relatively dark in that room. And these chairs may be around the table as well. Uh, we'll see. But that is is what I'm coming up with and I'll just cycle through a couple of different lighting um, situations so we can get a sense of how this is looking okay so very simple textures uh, quickly done in substance painter this one done in blender all right cool thanks for watching we're gonna come back with uh, more on the interrogation room very soon